Hello, and welcome to the 91 Years of TV podcast with me, Matthew Coles, and Charlie Lello. Hi. So today we're talking about the history of TV and associating media, and where else better to start than the BBC? Um, on October 22nd, the BBC began its first daily radio service in London. Ooh, what year though? 1922. 1922? Yeah. Uh, that was just after World War I, wasn't it? Yes. Four so years later. Yeah, so four years after World War One, It was just, it might have just, because in World War One they used radios, didn't they? Yeah. They used radios to com- uh, communicate from the front lines. So they could have implemented it through that, couldn't they? Yeah. And that's probably, yeah, that's the start. That's probably what they did, yeah. Yeah. Um, in 1934, the BBC created their own microphone known as the Type A. That, yeah, it's a voice recorder for like television, isn't it? Uh, it was for their news broadcast, so they oh, made they yeah. made a mi- they made a new microphone so they could speak so over the radio. Yes, yeah, so that, that's basically their first uh, uh, news broadcast. Then yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, in 1939, the BBC had to stop broadcasting due to the uh, the outbreak of World War Two. No. Yeah, because <laughs> most of like, well, back then it would be more male dominated, wouldn't it? Yeah. So most of the actual men would have had to go to war. Yeah. Only like the rich, like the owner of BBC, maybe. Because they didn't, they didn't make, it. they didn't make a radio show with women until nineteen forty six. Exactly. So it was more, well, it was male dominated. It was just males. Yeah. So they would have all gone to war. So they, the only option would have females, but it was quite the females were more pushed back, weren't they? Yeah. They weren't. They allowed the freedoms that they are now. Yeah. On in November nineteen sixty three, the first episode of Doctor Who aired. Doctor Who. Aired. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Good like, joke. That's like one of the biggest. It was. It's one of the biggest landmarks, like sci fi wise, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know when Star Trek was around that time as well, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. So it's like them two were like the major things, and the only, not recently, but like nineteen seventies was Star Wars, wasn't it? Yeah. So that was the only big film. But before that, yeah. it was only television. Yeah. I think it was only... That was the way you saw these things, these new... Yeah. Go into new dimensions and new worlds and things like that, and new creatures. Um, in July 1981, the wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer was uh, the biggest global... T- had the biggest global TV audience in history. Were not that overtaken really, like by um the London twenty twelve? Wasn't that? Or um, was it or was it the other wedding, Williams wedding? No, I think I think it was overtaken by an episode of EastEnders. EastEnders? Yeah. Global. Yeah. Damn. In uh, February nineteen eighty five. Fair enough. But yeah, that wedding was big because it's like the Well, yeah, it wouldn't be the first broadcast or broadcast British wedding. Yeah, I think so. Like major British wedding, like you might have had little ones before that, but it was like the prince of yeah, that was the queen's son. The queen was married before it was all like television was TV. Maybe not before TV because I don't think it was that early. Yeah, but it before was more, like it was, it was like relevant mainstream. Yeah. Uh, in July two thousand and seven, uh, BBC iPlayer was launched. B- yeah, it's a big thing because you got all these. It, it's trying, there's just BBC trying to keep up with like, show like Netflix and like how Netflix put out Blockbuster. Yeah. Um, so they're just trying to keep up because they knew television is, is sort of dying now. Yeah. It's more online TV. Um, on Aug- in August 2012, the BBC held the most successful online event ever with the London 2012 Olympics. Yeah, cool. it's like BBC's British. British broadcasting communication, isn't it? Yeah. That's something like that. Yeah. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's British, and it was... It was a big, first, yeah. It was the first Olympics in it's Britain. It's a big British like nine, It's like nine... I don't know when the last one. The but British one? There was one in 1960-something, I think. I don't know if there's been... No, that's World Cup, wasn't it? 1966 was World Cup. Yeah, but there was, there was, there was a... Olympic. An Olympics in like just after world the World War, so they would have had a few Olympics yeah. just after that in London because we were the sort of city that was still only city that was really 
relevant. still thriving. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it was on like so it all went online, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Twenty twelve sort of like the turning point where it overtook T V. Yeah. Online took, overtook T V like that area like twenty ten to twenty twelve that is when it just turned. Because the internet is like massive now. Yeah. Whereas back in back in the last Olympics it wouldn't have been quite as big. Yeah. We are moving on to major landmarks in global television. Yep. At 3 p.m. on November 2nd, 1936, the BBC transmitted its very first program, one that was viewed on just 100 TV sets across the country. Was it Night Face 6? Yeah. Wasn't that the woman or the man playing the violin? It was like a song or something, wasn't it? For yeah. Like 40 seconds? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's big. But was that the first around the world? Um, yes. So it was not like America, it didn't happen. Uh, the BBC was the first big company to start trying to make it. Yeah. I don't, I'm not 100% sure if, the Ameri if America was producing something, but it would be probably would have. So yeah, it would, yeah. Um, lesson, no, we said that. Um, <laughs> on October 20th, 1946, the first children's show was aired. Was that that one about the mule or something like that? Yeah. It's mule. Margaret, Margaret the Mule or something, wasn't it? Margaret and Mule, yeah. Yeah, it was like some like kid show back then. It's like, uh, what's it? I think it was a woman with a puppet. Not the Wimbles. Um, they're the ones that are on the planet. Like, the kid show, it was like, they're, they're on the planet, and then like, here's the Wimbles, I think. I don't know. I don't well, think I watched it's, like, it's like that sort of like genre, like, yeah. not, it's not got a story to it, it's just literally... A show, yeah. so I like, entertain kids in the most basic form. Yeah, it was, it was sort of half, half that and then half like educating, sort of showing them basic yeah. things. Um, uh, on July fifth, nineteen fifty four, the first news program aired. Yeah, wait. So it wasn't radio. Radio was nine thirty six, wasn't it? Yeah, the radio was a while before, but it was the first news TV show. Yeah. Well, it was probably male anchors as well, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I would assume so. Yeah, because it's only like, well, again, it's only recently that it's more, it's more, not equal, but it's more. Yeah, there's more. A lot, a lot more females in it. Uh, on September twenty second, nineteen fifty five, ITV launched. ITV was quite big, isn't it? It's, it's got the loads first of like loads. real competitor to the BBC. It was like it won the. It was it's bigger than BBC now. Is it? Yeah, it won like the award like the British. Being over to BBC, it's like ITV, BBC, Channel 4. That's good. Good for that. Um, on July 20th, 1969, uh, the lunar landings were shown. Yeah, it's like the biggest moment in human history. Yeah, one, one of them. Well, probably the biggest, because it includes every single country, basically. Yeah. I know it's America who launched it, but it was like the whole world. It was us sending it. Yeah, it's like everyone America was watching. And it was like America was the representative, but it was the whole world was... Yeah. Yeah, and right. You compare it to like things like the Berlin Wall and that. Like, they're big, but it was mainly just for like yeah. Europe and like mainly Germany. Yeah. So it's, it's more the biggest the event. In 1967, Color TV launched. Uh, yeah, that was like again that was like Doctor Who and like Star Trek and uh, like shows like Coronation Street, things like that. Like yeah, more, well, it would have been around that time. More, sure. Instead of instead of being more based around like quick clips, quick like, Yeah, they, that would have been when they were starting to get like full Yeah, it was more story arcs, things like that. Yeah. More Because with um Doctor Who that had or that had started a few years before, they were they were already at like twenty minute episodes. Yeah. So it's just like ramped up from there and got longer and longer. More effects and things like more budget. Yeah. Bigger Higher budget. budget projects. Yeah. Uh on November 2nd, 1982, Channel 4 launched. Yeah, Channel 4 is pretty big. It's got some, like, Channel 4 news. It was literally the fourth TV channel in Britain. Yeah, and it also had, um... When, when was that? Uh, 1982. Yeah, it would have had most basic channels, because most, like, by that time, ITV and BBC would have taken all the big channels, yeah. like, big shows. They would, they had, because they already had BBC 1 and BBC 2, so yeah, they would but now, like, they... They were like the first British, like British uh, TV company to show like American cartoons, like Simpsons and things like that. Yeah, wasn't it? And now they have things like they took in shows off BBC, like British Bake Off and things like that. Haven't they? 
Yeah, so they're more, they're starting to gain more power, and then BBC's starting to slowly decline. Away. Uh, on the 5th of February 1989 was the launch of Satellite TV. Satellite TV is a big thing. Yeah. It's massive. It's, yeah, it's because it's like that's when, that's hundreds, when you, hundreds and hundreds of channels. Yeah, that's when you could start like getting channels that, like, because uh, before that they would have had, I think, five channels. Wait, when was that again? Uh, 89. Yeah, because just after that, not... So they would, have had, they would have had BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, Channel Four and Channel Five. Yeah. And then about only sat... about, yeah, about 10 years later, like the children's channel, like CBBC, yeah. CBBS. That's when, they, that's when they CITV. launched all of the different channels, so they yeah. would have started getting... Like branched off, and instead yeah. of just being BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, it was like ITV Two, BBC yeah. Three, CBBS, just things like that. Yeah. CITV, like children's ITV. They would have started having like targeted channels for different people. Genres. Like, there's like um, Dave and all that now, it's more for like the enthusiast, like hobby yeah. enthusiasts. Or and like card, re card rebuilds. Like, and then there's like children's master. channels and stuff as yeah. well, like... Uh, CBB's map that you've said. What's that show you watched? Uh, Taskmaster. Yeah, it's got more like it's based around it's more comedy. Like, yeah, comedies. It's like they've got the comedy shows and they've got their it's car also, shows. It's, it's, it's also intelligent comedy, isn't it? It's not yeah. like just straight up far joke or thing like that. Because each each like show on that channel is targeted towards a specific audience. Yeah, and it shows how much it evolved. Yeah. Like it used to be like no story, is it? You just like you get to your laugh, feel it. Right? Makes you emotional. It was, now it's got like an in-depth story. You want to find out more. It keeps you hooked. Yeah, yeah. Um, now we're going to take another short break. One segment of the podcast, and now we are discussing the role of television. So, yeah, um, it's more limited online. To, like, it's more limited than online TV now, isn't it? Yeah, because there's you can uh, go on like Netflix and there'll be hundreds of shows there that you can just watch whenever yeah. you want. Whereas if you go on the TV, it's you whenever get, you want as well. It's not yeah. like it's scheduled. When you go on the TV, it's all scheduled. There's like things there you can watch one program on one specific mm -hmm. channel. Like you don't get the same options. And sometimes like repeats and things like that you don't want to watch. Them. Yeah, and you, you're stuck watching them. I've, I've been in a lot of situations where I've just been wanting to watch the show. But they put just what I'm having to wait because it's like before on like I, I found out online streaming it's like 2010 or something. Yeah. It's where you had to wait. You had to watch all the boring <coughs> shows, or you had to go do something else before you can watch this. Yeah. Rather than now, you can literally just watch it straight away. And also with um, online streaming, rather than having to go on the TV, there'll be one episode will come out. You have to wait a week with online yeah. streaming. You can just watch a whole series in one go. But to be fair, online streaming like in the UK and I've kind of, well, I don't know about Australia, now, but America and Canada, they get all the shows. They get all the shows, but. In Britain and that, we don't get as many shows as they do. We get more limited on online TV, so that's a problem as well. Yeah, but um, we get we get like all of more British shows, whereas America won't get like our loads of shows from us. No. So they won't. They might not get stuff like Doctor Who. They whereas do. they do. Do they? Oh. Yeah, they got. No, no, they get most of our shows. It, yeah, they, they just the only things they don't get. No, it's more than we don't get because we get. We America's get more movies, I read this online, that we get more movies, whereas America gets more TV, so yeah. they'll have all their yeah, TV they shows. they like, uh, Walking Dead and all that on there, don't Yeah. They? And, uh, Break, oh, no, we have Breaking Bad, don't we? Yeah, we do. Um, they have other, like, They do have, they've got, like, Arrow, uh, Flash, or those sorts yeah, of shows. Yeah. Um, whereas we don't have any of those, but we will probably, we will have, like, lots more movies than they have We, we eventually get them, we get them, like, like five, four years after. Yeah, we'll get we we'll get them eventually, but then yeah. Not. So we should get them soon. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, it has less function uh, functions than the TV has less functions than online TV. Yeah, like on online TV, you can see so like there's uh, you can there's loads like you can have to list that you don't have to record on TV if you want to watch something again. You would have to record it. Yeah, and it takes up space and things like that. Well, on online TV, it's all just broad range. You can search whatever you want. You get more choice. You got more accounts. Like you can choose your own personalized account. Yeah. Like Netflix, you got all the different accounts. Like there's Children's Zone. There's a like on my one. I got my brothers have one, and then I have my separate account which yeah. I have my stuff on it. Yeah. So it, it gives more of a free. Yeah. But also on TV, bring back that point. It's more Netflix and that especially they dominate more than they go for one company rather than like multiple companies. Like, they've got the whole Marvel series, don't they? Yeah. They've got loads. They don't have any really DC stuff. They have more 
Marvel that and like other things like they have only they only really have ITV and BBC they don't have many channel for like documentaries and things like that. But and Netflix only just have the Marvel stuff because they've got a contract with Marvel yeah, no. to make their own shows. Yeah. That's why they keep the Marvel stuff like, and they don't have the DC stuff. Yeah. And they have the same thing with um Star Trek. They've got yeah, they, their own TV shows, so they've got all of the seasons before. They, you can't get things like Star Wars like rivaling. Yeah. Yeah, because there's no there's no Star Wars things on. No, I don't think so. No. Yeah, I heard in America they, they took them off. All the Star Wars stuff they took. All the like all of the content about Star Wars and things like that. Yeah, they do. They, they remove they remove shows when Clone Wars and things like that. They re- yeah. they actually sometimes remove like shows when you're right in the middle of them and it's really annoying. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was watching um, Heroes, but they were bringing it back, so yeah. they lost their contract with Netflix because they were bringing it back onto TV. Yeah. So they it's took off ones, Netflix. Yeah. It's, they they, they it's kind of inconvenient that way. Yeah. But TV's more convenient because it stays constant. It's not like they're going to take it off the air all of a sudden. Yeah. It's going to stay. But most of the time, it will stay there. They'll the finish. Whole time. A, they'll normally finish a season before they like take off the air. Yeah. They won't just go, all right, this is it, cut it. Um, also, the, there's uh, uh, payments per month, like the cost of TV. Because normally with TV now, you get a p- package with the broadband Yeah, and the phone. internet. Yeah, and it's, it co- no- normally costs more with like Netflix, Netflix again, or Hulu. Yeah, they're like like they're like only six to seven pound a month. I think Hulu's actually quite expensive. I think it's more like sixteen if you want no ads as well. Search it up. Oh, I can. I know Netflix is five ninety nine. I think, but then you can go up like if you want more screen. That's another thing. You can like stream it on other like yeah. multiple devices like your phone. Which you can do with TV actually. Yeah, but it's only you have TV. A... You can only stream on TV. No, because if you have a, like... if it's a laptop or something else, it's counted as online TV then, isn't it? Well, yeah, but it's, you're showing TV shows. So if you have like Virgin, there's a Virgin app where you can watch the Virgin TV exactly. shows off of the TV. Yeah, and it's like BT Sport and that, where you can watch like football and stuff like that on TV. Um, it makes it more convenient. Hulu is seven ninety nine a month, and if you don't want commercials, it's eleven ninety nine a month. Yes, that's commercials. But compared to that TV, the packages are like thirty-five pound a month. Yeah. Just to get like a hundred channels or something like that. But you will also with the thirty-five pound a month, you'll get your internet, your phone, mm. your all the. Oh no! Oh, we. Um, I was trying to get Sky like a couple months ago. Yeah. And it was like, it was just for the TV, not broadband. It was seventeen ninety nine just for like three hundred channels or something like that. Yeah. Which is a lot of channels, but a lot of them I'm never gonna use. Yeah, because they make you buy in a package because. Yeah. Um, they don't let you do, you can either buy like the news package or the children's package or yeah. sports package. You don't get a mixture, but we can get a mix, but they're much more pricey. It's like 30 quid because just when, for that. When my dad was doing it, um, you can't, they don't do a movies package on its own. You have to buy like entertainment yeah. and sport yeah. and movies all together. And, and it all costs like, and then they do stuff like, uh, oh, I have IBT. So they do, they don't do movies with that. They You have to buy the movie set, like rent them out. Yeah. Rather than doing, I know they have new releases, but you don't have like Netflix and that. Yeah, but it's, it's just because they got stuff like Sky Store. Yeah, but they also have Sky On Demand, which is quite good. Where you get all yeah. your um, all old your sh- films yeah. that have popped up, but they're not they're never as good as the ones on the, the store. And then like the Nef- ones, some like of Netflix, the ones on the store Hulu, will just be on to date as well. Yeah, they they got moved from like 2015, 16, sort of that era. But they even got they even got some from like twenty seventeen. They'll yeah. have really recent yeah, yeah. movies pop up. But like the free ones on like Sky and like BT, they're like from twenty ten. Like they're really old, fi- like not old films, but they're not relevant anymore. Yeah. Like you got like um, for example, the old Fantastic Four or something like that. Yeah. Whereas like, Netflix has the new one. New one. Yeah. I mean, it's bad, but still. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, again, the TV's weekly. It's not. You can't watch it one after the other. Yeah, you don't get you don't get you can the, like, binge watch. On yeah, Netflix and that. But you can't like binge a series on TV. See, that's why TV unless you really record all of it's, it's, you have to wait. And it's, it's human nature not to be. We're not naturally patient. Yeah, we want the next thing after the next thing. We don't want to get the task done unless you're a really lazy person. <laughs> um. Yeah, legal rights from like American TV shows that like, we're discussing like. Uh, CW with all their shows like yeah. Flash and that we can't get the rights for them yeah because the UK Netflix they and we get them late as well we get them um, like a week later on I think, TV I think Sky Sky One is yeah. where they show the all the shows from the CW yeah. mostly so Sky won't give Netflix and the right and then Sky gets it late as well they get them like 
they get them yeah about well, a month we, late or something no it's like a week or a month it's like a week it's, or two it's later. more like it's, it's a lot later yeah like when the first when the final season like season three or season two ends we're still halfway through it yeah which is quite and then on, but on TV you, online TV you can watch it straight and then Sky keeps it because they've got their own on demand service so yeah. they yeah. don't want to give it to like Netflix or anything where you yeah. can watch the whole way through it yeah because they're showing it themselves um uh most uh, final final two points. The most TV companies are now jumping ship. BBC are going for BBC iPlayer, ITV ITV Player. They're like they're, they're not, still they're not jumping ship. They're not they're jumping still... ship, but they're more moving. They're not they've not gone completely. Like they just cut off everything. They're slowly mi- like migrating to the internet. Yeah, because um, if you want to watch something on BBC iPlayer, it will be on the TV like, first. Like, you won't get um, to see it until the next day. Like BBC, the like a year ago or two, they did BBC Three. Yeah, which is now an online service. It's, yeah. it's not. BBC BBC Three has been around for years. It's been around. Yeah, but now it's, they moved it to an online channel. It's not. It's always been an online channel. No, no, it was on. Channels. It was on. It was on the TV as well. But it's always been yeah, an I mean, online mainly, channel was, as well. It was also TV. That's what I mean. Yeah. It's now just now completely just moved. Off, yeah. And it's it's pretty. Because that was the big thing about BBC Three. Is that it was also an online channel. Yeah, it was a whole thing. It was like it was one of the most popular channels as well. Yeah. It was like they. they everyone was like saying, "Take BBC Four or or to BBC Two. They're not as popular as BBC yeah. Three. BBC Three was more like the younger." Like from like sixteen to like, it's, but it's where they did all. They did some reality. They did, it was they more did reality. some really was, good shows on. Um, it was more reality, like not reality shows, like reality, like real, like um that what's the name Stacey Dooley, whatever her name is. She did all the documentaries, didn't she? Like going to they didn't. They didn't just do that on BBC. Yeah, no, me, but done, I mean, my, me they've done like sci-fi yeah, shows. Yeah, no, I know. Stuff. They I mean, did like, uh, that's class, which is a Doctor Who spinoff. Yeah, no, I know, yeah. but I mean, like that's what they. Like they also did stuff. Like yeah, that. so it's it's more of like a mixture channel where they have yeah, loads yeah. of different stuff. Um, and like finding illegal streaming, that's had a massive impact. Yeah, so it's obviously like Netflix. They won't really care because they all their stuff is online anyway. Yeah, so most of like most of the stuff like if you go on like internet and you search for this like certain ones, they like you got a UK court of like lord it. You can't watch these certain shows. Yeah can't physically watch them but um you got like still you got you got sites that you can watch literally the day after it's like yeah an, it's like an american basis you can watch it the day after it comes out in america yeah which is which you can watch earlier than the actual uk yeah, it's, release it's, so. it's basically a wide range it's a bigger library than netflix yeah and that could eventually kill off netflix as well i think it's more likely to kill off tv before it kills yeah, off it will. netflix because but it also go for netflix because netflix can't compete yeah. with they need to get licenses while these don't they're legal they don't rely on yeah they, and they, it, they don't care they just get the show and that's and also it also the thing with the TV is that you'll see it in America like the normal time and if British people want to keep up with the shows yeah. in America then they'll have to watch on the streaming sites yeah. because there's no rush for them to watch it no, they physically it used to be like physically pirating like on DVD you'd burn them onto CDs and yeah. DVDs but now it's just like a more wider range and less space and less yeah and it's online now so you can basically yeah. just watch whenever you want wherever you um, want so so, moving on a bit, uh, finally, what is your personal opinion and relationship with TV? Uh, personally, I don't watch a lot of TV anymore. I prefer like streaming sites like Netflix and, and that. How many shows would you watch a week? On TV, like maybe three at the most, yeah. whereas on stuff like Netflix, I'll, watch, I'll binge through whole TV shows in a week. Yeah, yeah. Um, I basically, yeah, I use mainly Netflix. I go home. After school and things like that, to relax, I use Netflix or you watch YouTube videos. Yeah. And things like that. I rarely use TV. The only time I use TV is either for waiting for someone. Like, if I'm waiting to go out with a friend, I'll sit and watch, like, 10 minutes of TV to pass yeah. the time. Or I'll do it, like, meal times. Yeah. I'll sit down with my family and just watch TV with them for, like, 20, 30 minutes and then go back upstairs and do my work and do watch Netflix and things like that. Yeah. But it's more. it's more... I don't use it because also them sort of things they have more wider like they have stuff from America stuff from Japan stuff from yeah Australia they have a wider range of shows and I think that's much better than watching just British television I like British television like Doc 2 um, documentaries like Life on Earth and all that yeah but I don't want to just watch them the whole of my life I like I want to watch more shows because you can get on Netflix there's like um, there's a film so, something about I can't remember what it was about but there's like a French film on there, and there's a Japanese film. There's every, every stuff yeah. on every culture. Yeah, is that that new one that came out on Netflix? That it's the one about the big pig. I've not seen that. It's like a, it's like I can't remember what it's called. It's about this like big hit. Hold on, uh, have you got Netflix? Yeah. Yeah, search up. It's like um, 
It's like a big. It's it was like a big big. It's from South. I think it's South Korea. Yeah. It was made. It was made from Korea, and it was quite. It was a big impact. It had like stars like um, Steve Ewan. Uh, it had oh who else did it have? It had new like uh, new stars and that, and it had um. I can't remember her name. She played. She played um the ice cream in Narnia. Yeah. It had her in it. She played like two people. It's more, it gives them, a lot of them stars are moving over from... Yeah, so they move TV. from the regular TV to the yeah. like, online stuff because... No, I can't find it. More people are watching it. Um, yeah, so that's basically our opinions. Uh, thank you so much for listening to our podcast. We hope you enjoyed, and goodbye. See you later.